The next one, however. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just say it and then move on? Oh, no. No, we gotta talk about it. It's Final Fantasy VII. We're finally getting the remake. How? It's official. Final Fantasy VII is actually getting a real rem- remake for PS4 and Xbox One. Mm-hmm. They they said PS4 first, I think, for something yes, like that. Yes, yes. But it's still gonna be an Xbox One. And it looks so gorgeous. Well, that, that was probably a CG trailer, though. Even Although so. I figured out way before you did. You're like, wait, what is this? What is this? I figured out the first time I saw a building. Well, a building. Because uh, you have the damn game. I never played the damn game. No, hold on. Hear me out. Uh, yeah. As of this recording, I started playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time about a week ago, and you know, now looking back at the trail, I can tell, I, I can see the similarities, but it's just worlds different looking it's in a, in a good way oh that's right you haven't seen like Advent Children or played Dirt to Service or Christmas mm-hmm. I've Final Fantasy 7 is the most Final Fantasy stuff I know I don't want to go my whole deal about why I haven't played Final Fantasy yet but it's the most Final Fantasy stuff I know I have Advent Children I have Dissidia but it's not really Final Fantasy 7 but um so I know most about it so I was able to instantly recognize that it's Final Fantasy 7 and I still got excited for it even though I, I don't know if I'm going to play it, we'll see. Still got excited, because this is something, first of all, people can stop falling bitching. Yeah. First off. Second off, J- Japanese developers had a history of never really listening to fans. It's only recently they finally did. And that's great. <laughs> finally, we're getting this Final Fantasy VII remake. It might come out next year, hopefully. If they don't keep delaying it like another 10 years, but... I don't think... Because they- Nomura is working on this game too, and... He's working on a bunch of other games. He left Final Fantasy XV and working on Kingdom Hearts 3, but now he's working on this too, I guess. Mm-hmm. The whole thing is that he doesn't have a very good track record of staying on schedule. So, I, unless they, you know, bend him over the knee and say, do this freaking game, mm-hmm. this might be a while. I, I don't think we're going to see it next year. In 2017, possibly? Like, it might I think be, or the order might be Final Fantasy XV is released first, mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I think that's a safe bet. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't doubt it. Alright, let's see. Uh, but yes, we, we geeked out over that oh, big time. Yes. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shenmue 3. Shenmue. 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 Sorry. Shenmue 3. Uh, game's not... It's officially announced, but it's not out yet because it has a Kickstarter. And that was that was cool the way they did a little countdown yeah. in the middle of content. Yeah. yeah, they count down to when the Kickstarter started. Mm-hmm. So as soon as it hit zero, right in the middle of the show, Kickstarter up. Now, so uh, it's it, it's interesting too. Uh, I I was still kind of geeking out about Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, while was going yeah, on. yeah. He was definitely going crazy. Uh, with that. What's Shenmue all about? Shenmue, it, um, as much as I know, it's pretty much. I don't know. I haven't seen too much of it, but I do know of it. I think first of all, it was actually the first game to actually quick time events. Not Resident Evil Four, not God of War. Oh, it was one of the yeah. first ones to actually have quick time events. Both of them were for the Dreamcast. Shenmue One and Two. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't remember if it was actually a fun action adventure or more of a point and click. I'm not positive. I'm not, I'm not really a Shenmue fan only because I never had Dreamcast. Yeah. But that's as far as I know. I just know that it's going to make a lot of people happy. That's good. Let's see. A big ba- one. Batman. Coming yeah. out next week. I am excited for it. They really shouldn't have started off with a spoiler though. The fact that Joker died in Arkham City and they're showing his... I like the fact they rendered his body in uh, 1080 PS4 graphics. But... To show the fact that they're cremating his body after his death, I, not everyone has played Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. I don't know why you spoiled that. Yeah, and you shouldn't have done that. Think about it; it didn't really have anything to do with the rest of the trailer. No, well, I mean, it, it confirms the fact that no, he's dead. He's not coming back in this game because a lot of people are thinking that the Arkham Knight is like Joker or some related Joker or Jason Donnelly. A lot, of, a lot of theories. No, this is confirming no. Joker's definitely not the Arkham Knight. He's gone. He's dead. And unlike the comics, he's most likely not coming back since this is the last. Uh, Batman game from Rocksteady. Don't know if Warner Brothers might make more, but from Rocksteady, this is the last one. Mm-hmm. And then they go a little weird. You don't start playing as Batman or even Bruce Wayne. You start off as a cop in first person in a bar, which is odd. And then you go over to a um, someone complaining about someone smoking in the in the restaurant. And you go over, and then it looks like a zombie pops out at you. And then you realize that it's a scarecrow nightmare. And holy fucking shit, it's not like. Piss your pants scary, but that creeped the hell out of me. That was really creepy, and it shows that, yeah, this game's definitely probably the darkest Batman game ever. I mean, if you haven't seen the rated M rating. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it always interested in this game. Still want to buy it. Still going to love it, definitely. I know that for a fact. 
I loved Asylum, loved City even more. I'm not gonna talk about Origins. Uh, but this made me even more interested. Like, you're not even starting out as Bruce Wayne this time. It's different. It's like, okay, you wanna see where this is going. So, I'm still getting excited, still gonna get it. Possibly by the time this comes out, I might have already gotten it. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, next up, Call, Call of Duty. Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Now, here's the interesting part. No mention of this game until Sony's conference. Mm -hmm. Not even like Xbox. Nothing. Not, not Microsoft. Nothing. And then Sony's first one premiere and have Sony exclusive content. Where did this big switch come from? Honestly, they probably just offer them more money. That's probably just what it boils down to. They're making a shit ton now. <laughs> Uh, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Move, um, moving on. Yeah. Moving on. Not, I think we've already said not really big on the shooting. Yeah. Uh, Disney Infinity Star Wars. Uh, Disney Infinity Disney. Star Wars. Yeah. I mean, the figures will look cool. Yeah. That's about it. I, I mean, finally, Disney characters, Pixar characters, Marvel, and, and Lucas characters are in the same game. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know. Yeah. That's. That's something to be said for. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of cool. And because our style, they actually managed to all fit. And like, yeah. if Kingdom Hearts 3 announces one of those worlds being in, I think Star Wars would fit in more than Marvel, definitely. Mm -hmm. Marvel seemed really out of place. Star Wars could technically actually kind of fit in well. Yeah. But the art style is what makes them all fit in together in this one. But I mean, it, it's a it's a cutie Star Wars game for kids. I don't know. I mean, some people probably love it. I don't, I'm not yeah. judging it. I'm just... Yeah, it's, it's a good family game. Not yeah. our thing, but yeah. it's a good family game. Yeah, definitely cool collectibles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, Star Wars Battlefront. More again. Battlefront footage. Still looks great. Mm -hmm. Still gonna geek out over that. Still gonna play the lightsabers the most. <laughs> and lastly, Uncharted Four. Looks great, but the start of their uh, uh, yeah. gameplay video, God, like they they were shuffling around. You could see them shuffling around trying to get working. And all you saw was only on PlayStation for a while. Mm -hmm. Then it started, and Nathan Drake didn't move. He was just staying there. I'm like, uh, what? And that was a good 30 seconds of him just standing in the middle of a crowd. And then they had to restart the entire sequence again. And, and then it worked, and that was it, fine. But it was like, that, that was, was a weird hiccup. That was a little scary. It was a weird hiccup. <laughs> but yeah, um, I have not charted... I have not charted. <laughs> <laughs> I have not charted the waters of Uncharted before. Uh, but... Yes, I see your background, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I was really impressed by this. I, I think it's pretty damn cool looking. Yeah, me too. What? But, uh, uh, also, uh, uh, going back to uh, Firewatch, not not Firewatch, uh, Horizon of Zero Dawn. They're you know they're constantly talking through the sequence, making wee remarks and. Courtney. Oh yeah, it's similar in that way, but at least Nathan knows when not to talk. Yeah, yeah. So. And yeah. Sully, they both know like when to say wee one liners, when to be serious, and when to shut up. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm... Sony. Excellent Sony. job. Excellent. I was interested the entire time. I never lost interest. Oh, except Call of Duty. Yeah. I didn't lose interest once. I invested the, the whole way through, mm -hmm. which is a lot more than EA can say. Oh. I was invested in one thing in EA, maybe two. <laughs> but, yeah. Congratulations, Sony. And thank you. Thank you very much. So, yes, we did write it a lot. We, we write it. <laughs>